Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMemov.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study the metric system. And I wrote here a very important table for you to study. It has metric units of length, the ones we are using most often, and a few others. You are probably familiar with millimeters, centimeters, meters and kilometers. But did you know that there are a few other units too that are in between, so to speak, because the factor between each two units is always 10. So 10 millimeters makes one centimeter. And then cent and 10 centimeters makes a decimeter. And then 10 decimeters makes a meter. And so on. Okay? So from meter to kilometer, the factor is 1000, as you know. But there's actually two units that are not used in normal life, but they are there anyway, decameter and hectometer. Now, kilometer, the word kilo here means thousand, so that's why this is thousand meters. The word hecto meaning hundred, so this is why, this is why hectometer is hundred meters, and so on. Decameter is ten meters. Meter is the basic unit for length. Then decimeter is one-tenth of a meter. Deci here meaning one-tenth. Centimeter, cent is meaning one hundredth, and then milli here is meaning one thousandth. Okay? And the same kind of table would be done for any kind of metric unit, such as for volume we would use liters. So we would just replace the word meter here with liter. Milliliter, centiliter, deciliter, liter, decaliter, hectoliter, kiloliter, or gram. Milligram, centigram, and so on. Okay? Let's do some conversions. Each one of these is going to be converted into meters, to the basic unit. And for that we can basically think of this prefix here and what it means. For example, I'll show you. 7 millimeters. Milli means one thousandth. So 7 milli would mean seven thousandths. Seven thousandths is a decimal number. So we just write it here. This is seven thousandths, and then meter here, the basic. Okay, so that's how the conversion went. Eight centimeters, centi means one hundredth. So here we have eight hundredths of a meter. So we write here the decimal eight hundredths, and then write meter. Five decimeters, deci means one tenth. So here we have five tenths, like this, and then meter. Six kilometers, kilo meaning thousand. So here we have 6,000. So I just write it out as a number and then meter. 4 hectometers, hecto meaning 100, so I have 400 meters. And then deca here meaning 10, 3, 10, 3 tens, 30 meters. Some more examples where we don't have just a single digit number here. 30 millimeters. But again, milli just means a thousandth. So I have here 30 thousandths, let me write it here as a fraction, 30 thousandths of a meter. As a decimal though, you know decimals, fractions to decimals, so this is 30 thousandths of a meter. 90 centimeters, centi meaning one hundredth, so this is 90 hundredths of a meter, or like this. 0 0.90, 90 hundredths of a meter. Okay? And here you could simplify it to 0 0.9 meters if you want to, or if your book tells you to. If this is actually a measurement in physical science of some sort, then you would not want to drop the zero here. Okay? 2050 millimeters. Milli is a thousandth part. Okay? So 2050 thousandths of a meter, okay? Now you probably see that 2,000, if it was 2,000, it would have been exactly 2 meters, because 2,000 over 1,000 would be exactly 2. So, what, the way I do it is, I know that there's going to be 2 meters, and then the rest of the digit follow after the decimal point. Here, one more time, is a table about the prefixes. This table can be used with any kind of unit, like I said, gram, or liter, or meter, or watts. You might have kilowatts, or watts and kilowatts, okay? All kinds of units used in science. 
and um, the meanings are here also. The abbreviations K, H, D, A, and so on. What is it, Matthew? I forgot some units. Oh, that's true, because it does continue. Okay, he's saying that he weighs 7 megagrams. 7 megagrams? Okay. I don't know, Matthew, I think you just weigh a few decigrams. How did you get that? 7 megagrams. Mammoths weigh? Maybe, maybe they do. Mega, as a prefix, means a million. So this would be 7 million grams. Now, usually we would say that as 7,000 kilograms, by the way. And if you're into computers, you probably have heard of giga, tera, gigabytes, terabytes. Giga would be a billion, and so on. So there are other prefixes besides these, even to, also to the, towards the smaller numbers. But this is enough for 5th, 6th grade that we're studying this in. Let's do a few more exercises. 9 deciliters into the basic unit, liters. Deci, meaning a tenth. So I have nine tenths as a decimal, 0 0.9. 70 milliliters. Okay, milli is thousandth. So I have 70 thousandths of a liter as a decimal like this. Two kilograms, kilo is thousand. So I have 2000 here. Five hectograms, hecto meaning hundred. So 500 grams. I'm just changing these towards the basic unit. Here, each one of these. 62 centigrams, 62 hundredths of a gram. So this is 62 hundredths as a decimal. And then 128 milligrams, 128 thousandths of a gram. Like that. And then math is weight, 7 million grams. Two more, 25 decimeters. Deci meaning tenth part. So I have 25 tenths of a meter. And uh, you can either use fraction math to see that this is going to be 2 and 5 tenths. Or you can think that, well, if it had been 20, I would get exactly 2 meters. And then the 0.5 will follow uh, after the 2. Here, 670 centigrams, 670 hundredths of a gram. Okay, this makes six whole grams, doesn't it? And then the point 0.70 after that. Now lastly, I want to show you a very powerful tool uh, to help us do conversions between different metric units, such as from millimeters to centimeters, meters, whatever, in between any one of them. And it is this table here, metric unit table. It works exactly like a place value chart or place value table. And to use it, I have my original measurement here, 8.47 meters. So I just think this 8 is in the one's place for the meters. So I have to put 8 here, 8 whole meters right here, and then my decimal point and then the other digits here. Now when I convert it to millimeters, I will read it here as if the basic one's place was here. This was ones, tens hundreds and so on. It is as if the decimal point moved here after millimeters. So I will see it would be 8,470. And when I'm doing the conversion, I need to often put zeros in these other empty places, okay? So basically, reading it in millimeters, I move my decimal point to the, to, right after millimeters. Reading it in centimeters, I move my decimal point here, right after centimeters. And so I get 847. And then reading it in kilometers, which usually you wouldn't do such a thing, but this table allows us to do it really easily. I put my decimal point here, okay? So I would get, oh, 0 0.00847. There. It works. Another example. I have 416 decimeters. So I have to find decimeters. And imagine the decimal point is here, 416, like this. Okay? And then to read it in meters, place, my decimal point moves here, 41.6. Then in millimeters, I will put the zeros here. The decimal point would be over here, so I have 41,600 millimeters. And then as kilometers again, my decimal point would be right here, okay? 
So I get 0 0.0416. And of course, the most reasonable way of giving this measurement would be this here, 41.6 meters. And here, the original as it was given was the most reasonable way of giving it, or maybe in whole centimeters. Okay, I hope this is helpful.